Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for you guys today, I have a product fail video on one product. So I have the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Dusk. So this is what the Unicarton looks like. Um, and on the back of it, it says clean without compromise, full of bouncy, blendable color, free of fallout, finger fingertip friendly, and a bouncy product, a uh, bouncy powder applies effortlessly for an instantly diffused wash of buildable, buildable, blurred color. Remember that because this this is an absolute fail product, and I'm about to tell you why. Okay, so I showed you guys the outside. This is what the inside, like the actual palette, looks like. It is a nice velvet matte texture on the outside it has a nice mirror and even the color story isn't bad i wish there were more colors in it but the color story isn't bad you can do a nice look with those colors here's my problem with it there's no pigment there's none like here let me swatch it and remember you're supposed to be able to do this with your fingers there's nothing there. That one's barely any. That one's not much better. There's that one. There's no pigment on any of these. None. And you cannot apply it. I mean, you could apply it with your fingertips if you want the sparkle concept to it. Because it is a very shimmery eyeshadow. I don't like shimmers. That's not my main problem with it. There's no actual color pigment once you do it on your eyes because you're not going to apply eyeshadow to get this kind of payoff. As hard as I was pressing on my arm to get it, you're not going to press that hard on your face, like on your eyes. Your eyes are sensitive areas. You're not going to press that hard, which means there's no pigment and it doesn't build. You just get more and more sparkle. And I mean, like this purple color right here. Yeah, you could wear that. It shows up. That's about the only one that does. If you want to look like you got punched in the face, that's the only way you're going to like this pal is if you enjoy looking like you got punched in the face. I could not think of any reason why anybody would want this palette. Because like I said, it does not build. There's little to no pigment. You can't use your fingertips on your eyes. Like, you have to have dainty little fingertips for this to be able to do it. Because if I try and like take this on my eye my whole finger is going to cover up my whole eye how am i supposed to get in there and do it they didn't think about this maybe if they had made it like a larger pan size or include included a good brush to go with this it might be worth it because my brushes don't really pick up on the pigment either like uh do i have any clean ones probably not Okay, this one's not filthy. Like, do you see? There's very little pigment, and once you go in, it it it, it diffuses. Yeah, diffuses to the point of not being there. I do not recommend this palette. I would not buy this palette again. I I just the texture is fun. But that's it. There's there's no pigment once it's on your face. There's no there's nothing. It's not even like a sheer wash of color. It's nothing. You're getting the sparkles and that's it. It's like it's once it hits your eyes, any pigment that's in here diffuses away and all you've got is the sparkle and it doesn't build at all. At all. You should be able to use this with your fingertips. That's what it said on the unicorn and you can't. For $29, this is $30, I mean $29, so $30, you get Five shades that don't work, a nice mirror, and a pretty package. That's all you get. Do not buy this palette, on the, literally, unless you want to use it, like, to make it look like you got punched in the face. That's literally it. That's the only way you're going to be able to make this thing work, is if you're using it to make it look like you got hit in the face. That's it. I, over, done, review done. This is a big old fail. I, I don't like this. This is... Oh, I'm so mad. I had such high hopes for this, too, because, like, the colors. I love the colors, especially, like, this purple color right here. I love them. But they don't work. They don't work. And I'm 
I'm so frustrated because of it. It makes me so mad. I, I, ah, I'm so done. I'm so done. Because this this is terrible. I like just 10 out of 10 would not buy again. I do not recommend. Do not waste $30 on this palette. You just have to include tax. Ouch. I just hit myself in the face with it. Just don't, you guys. It's not worth it. Buy one of their lipsticks. Buy their setting powder. Their setting powder is great. This lipstick or this eyeshadow? No. No, 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 no. Just, I, and I'm going to guess Dawn is the same thing because there was a duo that came out. Dusk and Dawn. D Dawn is probably the same way. I can't say for certain because I don't have it. But just guessing on the fact that it's the same formula, probably not the greatest either. I, this, this is just a fail. Like, you guys can see it. There's no, like, that first shade don't even show up. And then it, it doesn't, it doesn't blend. It doesn't, it wears away to nothing. Why would you want to spend $30 on a palette? That wears away to nothing. I don't understand. And I tried really hard to make this work, you guys. I did it over no primer. I did it over my typical, like, concealer and powder primer. And then I used an actual primer. And I used two different ones. I used one from Shop Miss A, and I love their products. And I used one from Ulta. And it didn't work. There's, there's no... I couldn't even film it to show you guys because there's nothing to show. It just doesn't work. So, I don't know. I guess that's the end of this video, you guys. If you like these types of reviews, I realize I was mostly just yelling. Um, but if you guys like these types of review products, this, this, this was a fail. I'm very, very angry because literally, no, just no. It doesn't work. There's no pigment. There's no payoff. The mirror is about the only nice thing on this palette. So, like I said, if you guys like these types of videos, please subscribe. I know this video isn't, like, the greatest or even the longest because it's just me ranting about this palette because it, it, it doesn't work. Um, but if you guys like these types of videos, please subscribe. I do buy makeup pretty frequently, so I am testing it. And I try to do review videos every so often. Um, but yeah, if you guys like these types of videos, please subscribe like this video or dislike this video i don't know i don't know i'm so flustered over the fact that this video this palette does nothing like literally i want to throw it away except it was 30 dollars, so i think i'm going to return it it's that bad um yeah i i guess i'm gonna leave you guys i don't know what else to say